Hey guys, so listen up. I got this comment a little while ago and I keep telling you at the end of my videos, comment and tell me what you wanna see and this is the first one. So we're gonna make this video specifically for Dennis Mel. I hope I'm saying that right, I apologize if not. He wants to see the ability to fetch a photo from a URL. So let's show him how to do it. Go ahead and open up a new Xcode project. We're gonna go iOS app, hit next. We're gonna say this is for Dennis. <laughs> We're gonna make it Swift UI. Save that wherever you would like. So here's something I wanna know. I am using Xcode 13, and this is something that Apple just announced that you're gonna be able to do with Swift UI. And I think it's awesome, and it made me think of this comment, which is why I'm making this video. I was gonna make it with iOS 14 and the current tools, but to do this tutorial, you will need uh, Xcode 13, sorry, and macOS Monterey. Now you can join the developer beta and get these beta softwares, and you would just have to go to developer.apple.com to download them. Uh, disclaimer, you're gonna want to back your stuff up in case something breaks because it is beta software and it's not ready for release yet. But this will only work if you are using Xcode 13 and I'll show you how to set your target here. Go to your project settings. This needs to be set to iOS 15 or I will show you how to do a uh, available clause as well. So let's just leave it at 14 for now. Okay, we're gonna get an image from UR. Let's get started. So Swift UI 3 is awesome because all you have to do, so first of all, let's get a URL, right? And we know that when, when I want an image URL, you know where I'm going. I'm going to unsplash.com. We're going to nature and we're, we're doing this. Okay, and then we're right clicking and we're doing copy image address and we don't need Safari anymore. Now, inside the struct, we're gonna say let URL equals URL parentheses string quotes paste. Get an image URL, that's all we need. Go ahead and resume. Now, all we have to do is type async image parentheses, we're gonna use this one with the placeholder. I haven't played around with this too, too much, but this passes in an async image phase, then an async image. I'm having way more luck with the URL content placeholder one. So obviously our URL is URL. Go ahead and hit enter. We're gonna say image in, image dot. Now you can treat this just like you would treat you know, any other uh, image previously in Swift UI. So here we can do resizable, we can do aspect ratio, we'll delete this one, and we can do content mode dot fill. And placeholder, we could just do like color dot gray to have like that redacted sort of effect. Uh, we're gonna hit try again. Now, see this? This is what I was talking about earlier. Async image is only available in iOS 15 or newer. If we hit fix, we can add an if check, if available. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Say I'm only targeting iOS 15 and above. I can just come here to my settings. That error will go away. Now, come on, what are we doing? Build it. We are on iOS 15, hit resume. Run this thing. There he is. I knew it would work. Sometimes Xcode is just late to the party. Sometimes Xcode's like, are you sure? We have to say yes, build. Okay, relax, Logan. Uh, dot edges ignoring safe area, dot all. Boom, there's our image. Now obviously you could have some fun with this. You could, uh, you can make this like dot frame width you know, 300 height, 200. We could say like command click, uh, repeat for each, 
one and five. Embed that in a V stack. Embed that. You know, in a scroll view. Would that work? I think it will. But we need some spacing because it looks like shit. Okay, what, I mean. You get the point, All right? Was I trying to be too fancy there? Maybe. If I go embed in list, not the for each, there we go. Let's embed the async image in a list. You know, this looks like shit. Forget I did any of this. I'm probably gonna cut this anyway. But, um, so yeah, you could, you can play with this however you want and treat it like a, a, a normal image from here. You can do, you know, dot clip shape, uh, rounded rectangle, uh, corner radius is 20, styles dot continuous. You know, you can add more images if you want. You know, you can make it into a list. You can do whatever you want. Um, Dennis, I know I'm like ahead of the current requirements for Xcode right now. But I saw this, I thought of you, I thought of your comment. Thank you for requesting a video. I hope you like this. I hope everyone gets value from this. And yeah, like I said, tell me what you wanna see and I will make it. So I'm, like I said, I'm learning as I go. I'm literally learning and I'm figuring out the YouTube thing. Uh, I'm just trying to keep going, put out more videos. So if you like this video, subscribe. Um, hit the thumbs up because it helps me. And quite frankly, it makes me feel good. I like seeing it. So, uh, um, so yeah, stay tuned. I will be making more videos. Um, so I'll see you next time. Thanks.